Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tutorial video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download a version of Wikipedia for offline usage to your cell phone. So this means you can download all of Wikipedia to your cell phone so that you can view it from anywhere in the world, even if you don't have internet. This tutorial can be performed on an iPhone or an Android phone, and I think it's a really cool usage for your old phones or just your current phones if you wanna have that data stored on there. Now on both Android and iPhone, it's actually really easy to download a offline version of Wikipedia. We're gonna use a free app and I think it's pronounced Kiwix, but check the description because I'll have links down there to where you can find these in your respective app stores. So all you need to do first is simply download and install this app. Once we get it downloaded, we're just gonna open up the app. And on an iPhone, it's a little bit easier. All we need to do is select open library. Then in here, we can select which category of Wikipedia we want. They have a ton, including Stack Exchange and TED, different things like that. To download Wikipedia, all we need to do is go to Wikipedia. Now first, you can select to download it in different languages by just selecting the globe up here and then selecting your desired language. And then they've separated it out into different categories. So if you just want to download like baseball or best of Wikipedia, even Bollywood, chemistry, anything like that, computers, cricket, tons of different categories. But if you want to download all of Wikipedia, scroll down until you see Wikipedia right here and you'll see the different sizes and then also the number of articles that that contains and then the date that this backup of Wikipedia was taken. So it might be a little bit out of date, but if you're really just trying to download everything on Wikipedia, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. So as you can see, this larger one right here that is 83 gigabytes, that is going to include 5.7 million articles with 4.6 million pieces of media. So this can include music or pictures, things like that, which you would see if you were just browsing Wikipedia. Now, if it's not important for you to have the media, you can also go back, get a smaller version, such as this 11 gig version right here. And as you can see, it has 5.9 million articles. So it's gonna have all the text, but it only has 29 images or pieces of media. So you're gonna get a lot more space saving but it still have all of that data that Wikipedia contains. To download it, all you need to do is go up to the top. You can download it with just Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and cellular. Keep in mind, these are large files, so it may take a little bit to get these downloaded. You can always check the status by just going back to your library right here. And as you can see, it says on device. That'll show how much has been downloaded. Now on an Android phone, when you first open up Qwix, it'll ask you to get started. You can go through some information. So you can download books. So we're gonna go to get started. Once we get here, go to download books, and then you wanna make sure you're on the online tab. You can select your language by selecting the globe in the top right and then choosing your desired language. So once it loads the library for your desired language, you'll see a ton of different things. It's not filtered out by category like it is on an iPhone. So what I recommend doing, you can either look through these, see if there's anything you wanna download, but you can also just go up to the library up here and search Wikipedia then search, and that'll bring up all the Wikipedia related items similar to what you saw on the iPhone. Now you just need to scroll through until you find Wikipedia right here. So that's gonna be that 10 gigabyte version. As you can see, this archive was taken in 2019, September, and it is 10 gigabytes and it's text only. Now to download it, you would just need to select it and it will start downloading. Now I don't have 10 gigabytes on my phone available for storage for this. So I'm just going to try to download the simple English version. So if I select it, it'll start downloading it right there and you can see that it has one hour and seven minutes left. So not too bad there. You can also pause it if for some reason you it's slowing down your internet or cancel it. Once you get Wikipedia downloaded, whichever one you choose, simply go back to your library and you'll see it on device. And on an Android phone, it'll be on the on device tab. So go ahead and select the one you've downloaded. And then all we need to do is go to open main page and we can see all the available articles. You can even search through them just like you would on Wikipedia. When you find the one that you're searching for, you can simply select it and then it will bring up that article that would be exactly the same if you went to wikipedia.org. So you have all that information there, which is great. All right, so that's how you download an offline version of Wikipedia to your cell phone for free. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.